many actually don't like us <laughs> because they have to go through counselling and then they have go through the program and all that. But after they have gone through attend the sessions and all that, they actually like the program. Well, when we first began, uh, there were three groups of uh, volunteers, you know, uh, working towards three main teams for AMP. One was education, one was social action, one was research. Social action became Alidra. So the social action uh, group uh, was to solve issues, social issues uh, in the Malay community. Some of the social issues uh, then uh, that they identified were issues like uh, the drug issue, uh, issues about young marriages, issues about dysfunctional families. So that's how Alijra is started. So the meaning of Alijra is to move from one point to another point, eh? to shift, right? So we wanted the community to move from a certain uh, way of life or a certain standard of living, you know, uh, to another uh, way of life or uh, standard of living. That's how actually Alijra came about. The client was a disadvantaged family or those families are facing challenges. Uh, so when I came in, there was not really much program. It was uh, just a few program targeting at youth, high risk youth, as well as um, couples. And uh, we also provide counselling. And there was also a helpline then, uh, which is still, we still have helpline now. So at that point of time, I think our helpline was among the first. So there was an SOS when uh, AMP helpline was one of the first few. In Al Hijra, we have what is called the Gerakan Al Hijra program, where it's called the Befriender group. I think now we don't rely so much on the Befriender or on the volunteers. So now most of the home visits are all done by the staff. And I think it is uh, more systematic. And also now there are a lot of networking with other national agencies because AMP's resources might be limited. We, not, we might not be able to give them certain services, So, but the FSCs and the other organization might be able to give them that. So there are a lot of networking with that, uh, with other agencies as well. In the very early days, we thought that the Malays were getting married at a very young age, when they were not prepared mentally, emotionally, as well as uh, economically. Uh, that's why we started the program called Young Couples Program where we work with ROMM eh, to encourage young couples. Young couple meaning those below 21. At least one of the couple, eh, one partner uh, who is below 21. If you want to get married, the ROMM will recommend that they come to AMP. Right? In AMP, uh, we counsel them, uh, telling them, for example, that you know, uh, if you are not yet well prepared to be married, you know, you shouldn't uh, get married. But I remember during those early days, eh, many of those who came, I think the girls were already pregnant. Uh, that became a big issue. Many actually don't like us <laughs> because they have to go through counselling and then they have to go through the programme and all that. But after they have gone through, attend the sessions and all that, they actually like the programme. We do not want to tell them you cannot get married. We just want them to know uh, what the situation that they are in and whatever decision they make is an informed decision. And for the current situation, we actually make the parents more involved in their decision making, in making sure that if let's say you really want the child to get married, you have to be involved to want to make sure, you have to be the champion to make sure that the children in your marriage are actually being guided and they can actually go through this marriage Inshallah, to be a better, to be a good parent, to be a good husband and to be a good wife. And that's how I think uh, our contribution towards the now a bit, I think the, in terms of numbers, there are a bit lesser uh, Malay Muslim uh, youth who are getting married when they are like below 21. And you know, some of the guys haven't even completed national service. Some of the girls were still in school. So I think we contributed to that change. Yeah? in uh, uh, young marriages. So I did concentrate more on, uh, on, on upgrading the, uh, our services, social services. And I'm proud one of the achievements that I do is to actually uh, work with the Ministry of Home Affairs all right, in the establishment of the uh, drug, the reintegration uh, program for uh, the DRP, 
We also implement a number of recommendations that was proposed in 2011. 2012 convention and the thing is the, the depth uh, what do you call the helping the debtors to, uh, the debt advisory uh, uh, center so that was also something that we actually on to uh, implement full swing and every program that we do there are proper kpis there are proper uh, resources given for for this program to to move and i think we always pride ourselves to say that when we do something, we do it well.